Crypto isn't passive income. Let's talk about it on Kyle Talks Money. Crypto isn't a passive income if you spend the entire day gazing at charts and keep worrying. Put your money in, stake it, and let it grow. Most of us are in crypto so we can make money and someday live off passive income. Apart from that, have a comfortable life without worrying about money. Gazing at charts the entire day defeats the purpose. In the long run, crypto is going at least Bitcoin and Ethereum are. Buy a coin you believe in, stake it, and let it grow and take profits when you need it. The goal is to stop working for money and do things you like. Stop looking at charts and checking your portfolio and go do something else and let your money grow. There is no point in checking charts all day unless you are trading. Traders go ahead, but holders just keep putting your money, stake it, and let it ride. Solana went down again on January 4th and was fixed early morning. Now it's back up, but shows how vulnerable the system is. A system that goes down is a death knell for serious traders. Another year and another episode of Solana going down. Today it went down for a few hours in the early morning Asia time and it took almost 4 hours to bring it back up. The Solana community blames it on DDoS attacks, laugh out loud. As the meme goes, the D in Solana stands for decentralization. A network that goes down this often will never be able to attract serious traders. Imagine you are trading on margin and get liquidated because the network was down. This happens in centralized exchanges. Solana now natively brings this kind of user experience to the blockchain where you can experience network failure on the chain. What a wonderful innovation. Blaming it on attackers is just dishonesty. A well-designed blockchain is not supposed to have attackers. It's supposed to keep producing blocks based on the parameters of the network, not take a break because someone spammed transactions. What is that one coin that you'll never buy despite the hype around it? So what is that one coin or token that everyone loves and you think there's something horribly wrong with it? What is the coin that rustles your jimmies? What is your crypto principle that this coin so blatantly breaks, that you're fine with missing 20x on possible profits just to maintain your integrity? What is that principle, code or law, no scam, ponzi's, no meme coins, decentralization is a must? What is the coin that makes you say, this is where I draw the line, or I'm really in it for the tech, so you absolutely will not buy it? If all cryptocurrency fell to $0 tomorrow, how effed are you? Hello fellow crypto enjoyers, we all know the rules of crypto investing. One of those rules for the new people around here is, you shall only invest what you are afraid to lose. But realistically, we all know there's a lot of people that invest a lot more than what they can afford to lose. Personally, I'm a pretty broke student and 70% of my capital is in crypto. If I happen to lose that, I would be basically homeless pretty soon. So if all crypto fell to $0 or something close to that, how deep in the mud are you? This can also serve as a reminder to be careful about projects you invest in. Only 1% of the world owns crypto. It is silly to say we aren't early. There are currently approximately 100 million blockchain wallets out there. This is an extremely small amount considering that it's only 1.28% of the 7.8 billion people we have on Earth. The $2.2 trillion crypto market is extremely undervalued. In the future, when digital currencies start gaining ground and you count inflation, tens of trillions in market cap are completely feasible. Remember, market cap doesn't reflect the amount of money invested in crypto. It just multiplies the current market price with circulating coins. Just because the market cap is high does not mean crypto does not have more room to grow. Let's say someone tries to acquire $10 billion in Bitcoin. Exchanges feel the pinch and start raising the prices accordingly. The new raised price for each Bitcoin is going to multiply by the entire circulating amount and raise the market cap by hundreds of billions of dollars, if not more. A good explanation would be fiat. According to estimates, all the US money in circulation is worth 6.6 .6 trillion US dollars. Yet the US dollar market cap exceeds $21 trillion. The market cap of all fiat in the world is over $123 trillion. Crypto has huge potential, and a $2.2 trillion market cap for crypto is still very undervalued. So what are your thoughts? Is crypto passive income or not? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, take care of your money.